Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Young Kim. Today, I am going to uh, talking about the basic fundamental of TED hybrid additive manufacturing. In machining, you have a bigger size of a metal workpiece, and you want to make it smaller size by precise cutting down to the shape you want. And in additive, it is sort of opposite of machining. You start from nothing and you increase the volume layer by layer by laser cladding. And finally, you have some volume in layers. This is the additive. And what is the TED hybrid? It is subtractive and additive coming together in one single setup. Uh, it will be more easier when you think about the imagery of a dental clinic. There is dentist. This dentist has some uh, one patient today, and that, that patient he has problem in his tooth. And then the dentist he pull out the bad tooth out of the mouth and replacing it with a surgical implant. Like way, similar way, we do think about the machining, repairing the damaged mold. You see the mold, especially like uh, for example the die casting mold of uh, auto industry. It has very free way. Uh, complicated geometry. Deep inside, there is some problem, cracking or wear out some damaged place, and we must remove it first by milling operation. And next, we need laser cladding to make some volume compensation. Okay, today I have one practical example. It is NC program is already prepared at the uh, uh, NX uh, additive camp. And then, okay, we will start today's story. The damaged portion was removed by milling operation and the milled, milled part, milled volume should be replaced by laser cladding. So laser cladding will begin and it will go hatching uh, planar additive zigzag infill operation and every layer closed by boundary operation and hatching goes 45 degree angle and this the hatching the cross the boundary operation and the hatching they cross each other and finally the total volume is completely filled up with laser cladding and then it will like this still the surface is not good very harsh surface and the size accuracy is not there so we need milling operation any 3d printed metal part need a milling operation having face cutter uh, cut away the top surface and then top surface will have a, a good surface finish, surface quality and the exact jet height will have. And the following by side wall cutting in every four direction. Jet level profile steep cutting operation is used here. So milling with end mill layer by layer and then boom. boom. Finally, we have this beautiful metal workpiece. The good surface finish, shine surface, and the precise accuracy is there. The milling accuracy, 20 micron, can be guaranteed. And we must add the next volume uh, by laser cladding. But problem here, the top surface was flat and slippery, so we can hold the metal powder on top surface. The metal powder will flow down on the table. So we cannot uh, add laser cladding in jet direction. And then we need some trick here. The table, at first the table should be tilted 45 degree angle and we give the thin wall additive boundary on the top surface. Every four corner of the top surface, we will give a thin wall additive boundary. Uh, height is 2 mm only, 2 mm only, very small additive boundary uh, is given at the four side of the top surface. And then uh, we will have closed the thin wall boundary like this. So we can hold metal powder inside of the thin wall boundary. And then molten material will stay there and laser cladding can continue in jet direction. Planar additive 
zig zag infill operation also using here and laser cladding goes hatching 45 degree angle and uh, every layer closed by boundary operation and hatching continue again and hatching cross each other 90 degree against the previous layer and it continue layer by layer uh, boundary operation and finally uh, we will reach the target volume continue layer by layer boundary operation and finally uh, the target geometry is completely filled up with laser cladding and closed by boundary operation. Boom! We have this result. The upper part, there was a little offset, little bigger than lower part, and two parts welded together strongly, and uh, we need a milling operation uh, to get a good surface and exact size. Any uh, metal 3D printed part need a milling operation. Having the face cutter and we cut away top surface and then we'll have a good surface quality and exact jet value. Followed by side wall cutting. Jet level profile steep cut operation is uh, using here. Uh, with the mill end mill cutting layer by layer. And finally, the mating point between two blocks also uh, be cleared away uh, by end mill. And then uh, they will have a clear, uh, clean surface. It will look like this. Boom. Surface is shine enough. And uh, size accuracy precise accuracy is there and the upper part lower part strongly welded together this is very beginning and very basic of the mold repairing in the real mold repairing for example the die casting mold of auto industry it has very complicated geometry and the problem happen cracking or wear out uh, happen in the deep inside milling head, laser head cannot reach the deep place. So we cannot uh, the, make this part at one time. The complete geometry should be divided by two or three or four pieces. And we must make partial laser, laser cladding and partial milling. And again, continue partial laser cladding, also partial milling. And this job should be repeated three times, four times, and finally uh, we'll reach the complete geometry of the target volume. This type of job cannot be taken with any other operation except TED hybrid. This is the reason why we need TED hybrid, the additive manufacturing technology in dye and mold and dye industry. This is all of today. I hope this video would help your clear understanding why we need uh, TED hybrid and what is the benefit from TED Hybrid Additive Manufacturing. Thank you for watching. See you next time.